Christchurch, 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 Oh yeah. Welcome to our last Explorer session of the term. I bet you've all got your Christmas decorations up already. Well, what I thought we'd do today is we'd start with a true fourth quiz to see how much you know about the Christmas story. Attached to this session is a PDF that looks like this. Okay, it's the true fourth card set. What I want you to do is grab it and you're gonna cut it out. Here's one I made earlier. Okay, we've got the true bit and the false. You're gonna then fold it in half and when I read out a statement that you think is true, you'll hold this side up. And then if I read something out that you think is false, you'll turn it over and show me the false side. Are you ready? Let's go to pause whilst you grab your PDF and cut it out. See you in a little while. Are you ready for our first statement? Joseph lived in Nazareth. True. Mary's cousin, Elizabeth, had already had a baby girl. False. Caesar Augustus was the king of Judah. False. He wasn't. He was the Roman emperor, wasn't he? Joseph was from the family of David. That's right. It was true. Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem because Caesar ordered there to be an election. It was false, wasn't it? Caesar Augustus ordered a census. Jesus was born in a house. Well, that's actually true, isn't it? because Jesus was born in the part of the house where the animals were kept. Jesus' first bed was an animal feeding trough. True, because a manger is an animal feeding trough, isn't it? The name Jesus means God saves. Definitely, that's true. It was snowing when Jesus was born. False. Israel's a pretty hot country most of the year round. Many prophets had spoken about the birth of Jesus long before he was born. That's true. Can you name any of the prophets who spoke about Jesus' birth before he was born? I'll give you a clue. One begins with I and the other begins with M. What I want you to do now is grab your Bibles, okay? Here's my Bible. And we're gonna open it up and look in the front of the Bible, in the index. And I want you to see if you can find 
the name of a prophet beginning with I and the name of the prophet beginning with M. Are you ready? Let's go to pause while you do that. Did you find the names of those two prophets? That's right, the first one was Isaiah and the second was Micah. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to sing one of my favourite carols. It's the Calypso Carol. It tells us so much about the Christmas story. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's look at the words of the Calypso Carol again. They're attached on a document attached to this session. Can you tell me which of the main characters of the Christmas story are not mentioned in this carol? That's right, it's Herod and the wise men. Looking at this carol, can you tell me in this carol what names are given to Jesus? That's right, it's Pin Prince of Glory and Saviour of the World. The last verse tells us how Jesus was going to save us. He was going to die for us on the cross. Now this carol is very much based on the Christmas story written in Matthew. What I want us to do now is grab those Bibles again and we're going to see how quickly we can find Matthew. Don't forget, Matthew's the first book of the New Testament.
Are you ready? Let's get set. Go. Let's look at Matthew chapter 1. Here it is. Let's look at verse 1. What does it tell us about Jesus? That's right. It tells us that Jesus came from the family of David. Do you remember the last Explorer session I did? we were talking about King David. Do you remember how David wanted to build a temple for the Ark of the Covenant? And God made David a very special promise. Do you remember the prophet Nathan gave him the message from God? And it basically said that someone from David's family would be king forever. Now that promise finally comes through true through Jesus. Jesus is our king forever. And what is more incredible is that as Christians, we are all part of that kingdom that goes on forever and ever. Right, if we take a closer look at this chapter, it lists all the members of David's family, or Jesus's family rather. It goes all the way from Abraham to King David, and then all of the generations from King David to Jesus. Now I wonder, by looking at that chapter, if we can work out how many different generations there were from King David to Jesus. If we look at chapter 1, verse 17, it will tell us. So let's go to pause while you try and work it out. See you in a few secs. In chapter 1, verse 17, it tells us that there were two lots of 14 generations between King David and Jesus. 2 times 14 is 28, isn't it? So 28 generations. Now, you could say that when the prophet Nathan spoke to David and promised that there'd be always someone of his family on the throne as king, he was promising to send Jesus. Right, earlier on, we mentioned two prophets, didn't we? They were Isaiah and Micah. Now, what I'd like us to do is look up Isaiah to see what he said about the birth of Jesus. So let's find Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Listen to the verse, I'll read it to you. But the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be pregnant. She will have a son and she will name him Emmanuel. Do you remember what the name Emmanuel means? I bet some of you do. It means God with us. I've got you working very hard today, haven't I? Now I've got one little job left for you to do. So let's have a closer look at Matthew chapter 1 and this time we're going to look from verses 18 to 24 to look at the story of the birth of Jesus. As you look at that, I want you to look closely 
at the names that Joseph was to give the special baby. It was the angel Gabriel talking to Joseph. See if you can work it out. Right, let's go to pause as we look at Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 24. See you in a sec. Right. Did you look at those verses and look up the names that Joseph was to give the special baby? They were, weren't they? Jesus and Emmanuel. Emmanuel, as we've just said, means God with us. And Jesus means God saves. Right. You've done lots of work in this session. So let's have a little bit of fun. Right, attached to this session is a couple of PDFs. There is a board game, okay? And it says, find the king. This game is based on the journey of the wise men to Bethlehem to find the baby Jesus. As you go round the board with your counters, you have to turn over cards. And there's another PDF here. You're gonna have to cut this out so that you've got all the cards and you can place them face down. And each time you have to pick up a card, you pick up the card and see what it says. I wonder who you're gonna play it with at home and which one of you is going to win. Right, it's over to you to have a go at playing the game. Right, let's finish with a prayer. Dear Lord God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to save us. And we thank you that he really was God with us and that you are with us every single day. In your name, Amen. Have a really happy Christmas and hope to see you soon. Christ church, Christ church. Christ church, Christ church. Oh yeah.